Hey everybody, Charlie Montoya, Vice President of Aver USA Video Conferencing Division. Man, my title's getting longer and longer. I gotta figure out how to shorten that thing up a little bit. Uh, I wanna thank you all for joining today. I have Wayne Driggers, our VP of Product with us today. Nice Great to be here. You see how simple that works? I, I think us sales guys, we always get the longer title. It makes us feel more important or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but hey, I wanna thank everybody for joining us today. Um, Originally, we were also supposed to have Jen Herzog, who heads up our channel team, but as a lot of you have experienced from working from home as well, her internet's down today. So a last minute uh, kind of scratch, unfortunately, from the team. Hopefully her network will be back up shortly. But I know as we are all dealing with uh, this great 2020 that we're running into, uh, work from home is it's bringing up some new issues that we're all working with. So, but I do want to thank you all for joining today. We really do appreciate it. Um, for me and the Aver team, this is something that we're going to do on a more consistent basis. You're going to see us doing this every month going forward. So we hope you can attend. We hope you learn something from it, get some, some information, some knowledge, some ideas on what's going on in the marketplace today. We just really want to help. Um, and we really appreciate your support. So today our focus is going to be two products that, especially now, we're seeing a huge uptick. And I really should say three products, but the Cam 520 Pro, our standard and our advanced version, and the Cam 540, the two products that we're going to be talking about today. Um, we're also going to give you some updates uh, for the channel, let you kind of get an idea of what's going to be coming out for all of our channel partners here shortly. And then Wayne's going to talk a little bit about our partnerships and give you an idea of what's going on in that area as well. So um, as you'll all notice, there is a Q&A section. Please feel free to answer any question you like uh, or ask any question that you like. As we get the questions, we'll stop for a moment and answer as many as we can. Whatever we don't answer live on this call today, we will make sure that we answer later up and send out a follow-up to everybody as well. So um, let's get this started. So oops, there we go. So let's start with the CAM 540. Our CAM 540, many of you all will know or remember that we launched this product back in Zoomtopia uh, just about a year and a half ago. And I will tell you, I fell in love with the Cam 540 because first off, it was our first good looking camera we had ever launched. And that means a lot for me, <laughs> it really does. So the Cam 540 not only was our first good looking camera, but it was our first 4K uh, 3X optical camera. Before that, all of our 4K cameras were that fixed focus and you can only do digital zoom. The Cam 540 is a first 4K with optical zoom, really designed for the small, medium conference rooms. Uh, it has 86 degree field of view, USB 3.0, really a great camera for a couple reasons. One, not only is it Zoom Room certified, it's now also Microsoft Teams certified. It's also certified to go into Ream Central conference rooms as well. And also we partner with BlueJeans. They use this product quite a bit as well. So if you have those customers that might not be sure of exactly what uh, type of cloud service provider they're going to be using, CAM 540 is a great way to go. It will fit and work with any one of the, uh, the cloud service providers that are out there today. Another cool thing about this product, and I'm not sure if you can see me on it, but if you can, you can, you can increase my view. The cool part about this camera is it can actually go, almost go full 360 degrees all the way around. Why is that neat? Well, got a lot of customers, especially in the educational space now, which is really popular today. They have take the camera and they hang it upside down. And now I'm able to get almost a complete 360 degree rotation, as well as I can go all the way down. So it gives you that option of being able to pick up almost an entire classroom or auditorium style setting. And once again, traditional conference room environments, great for the small and medium conference room. On this document sheet, you will see it says 16X. And yes, it can do 16X digital. I'm old fashioned. I really am. I believe in optical. I think optical is the best way to go. So I tell people it really is a 3X optical, perfect for small, small and medium conference rooms. Couple other cool features about this. It has a 4K you know about. Also has smart framing technology. Smart framing technology, I can tell you, is the one of the coolest features that's come to the marketplace recently. And the reason why is smart frame technology allows me to walk into a conference room 
and no longer need a remote control. I can just toss it away. I don't need it. I can walk in the conference room. I can sit down. If it's one person, the camera will pick me up. And now it sees I'm there. If all of a sudden Wayne comes in the room and sits down, it's going to notice two people are there. And now it's going to reframe that picture to make sure we're both presented properly. Third person comes in, fourth person comes in, a person leaves, two people leave. It'll continue to frame the picture to where it'll, it'll put it in the best image possible for the people on the other side to see. Why is that important? Well, one, it makes it to where you don't have to worry about a remote control. People in that conference room don't have to worry about zooming in, zooming out. Is everybody in frame? Are they not? You can just go in, sit down, and be a part of the video conferencing call. It makes life simple and easy for people to do. The other cool part about it, and I'll say this, I get this question all the time. Hey, Charlie, are you going to do voice tracking? Not today. Not today. Now, Wayne might tell you we're going to do it later on, and I hope we do it later on. I just hope we do it right. The problem with voice tracking today, in my opinion, is the cameras start bouncing around way too much, right? I start talking, it puts on me, Wayne starts talking, and it goes to him back, forth, back. I get seasick when I'm on some of those calls. And I've had a lot of customers tell me that they just turn it off. Smart framing picks up the room so everybody can see the people in that room. And that's the ultimate goal. I want to see who's in that conference room. I can see them talking. I can see them communicating. But it gives me the ability to see everybody in that room. Another cool feature about all of our products, just so you know, all of our products are plug and play, right? So you can take this camera today, you can plug it into a PC, Mac, right out of the box, you're going to be up and running. It's going to download the drivers it needs and you're ready to go. No additional software is needed to make it run. If you want to, we do have our PTV um, app that you can download. That gives you the ability to invert the camera. It has you, gives you the ability to change lighting. All different cool feature sets are in that, but you don't need to. Right. If you're looking simply to go, I need to go in this room and set it up in 10 minutes, you can do that. That's what we try and accomplish at, at, at Aver. We want to make sure our cameras are simple and easy for people to use. So the plug and play feature, real simple, real easy. Try and make life as simple as possible for people. Other cool part about our product, full three year warranty. First year, we do advanced replacement. Second, third year, we have, have our customers send in the product. Once we know it's in, it shipped to us, we will send out the replacement. We know these products are mission critical. We know that when they go into a conference room, they are needed immediately. People can't wait two, three, four weeks to get a replacement. They can't have that conference room down for that time. So if you have a problem that first year, you call into our support team and yes, we actually have people that you can talk to. We actually have a tech support team that you can talk to. When you call into them and talk to them, they can sit there and go through the issue with you. They can take care of it with you over the phone. If they can't fix it over the phone, we immediately ship out a replacement unit for you. So we want to make sure you are taken care of and your customer is taken care of. So that full three-year warranty, no additional charges. I also get this question quite a bit. Hey, Charlie, what if I need a second or third year or a, a, a fourth and fifth year because it's a government entity or it might be a school district? We can work with you on that. We can actually do special contracts to give you a fourth and fifth year. Great part about our products, tell us to everybody, we have one of the best enterprise class products on the market. This does not break down. I tell this to a lot of people. We send out hundreds of demos a month, less than 1% failure rate on the products that we're talking about today. Less than 1%. That's amazing. And we're going to continue to keep that up. It's something we take pride in. Um, real quickly, I actually saw a question pop up. Let me see if I can answer a question. Smart framework with Zoom rooms. Yes, it does. And you actually have the choice. Uh, you can actually work with, there's two ways of doing it. One, and I'll let, and Wayne wants to jump in. Wayne, you can jump in as well. You can either use our smart framing technology or Zoom also has their smart framing technology, I believe. So you can use either or. Is that correct, Wayne? Uh, many cases, they're going to depend on the camera. But yes, yeah, so having this turned on, it's all built into the firmware for the, uh, the Cam 540. So you actually will not have to worry about additional connectivity, additional applications. It's built into the firmware. So when smart framing is turned on, it's going to function. And yep. then whatever the video feed comes out of that device, will go into Zoom. So once again, we'll definitely work with Zoom right out of the box. And just so you know, take a look at Zoom web Zoom's website. You can see all these products are actually certified on Zoom as well. So that's for our small medium conference room. Next product I'm gonna talk about for Cam 520 Pro. 
I cannot keep these in stock right now. These are going like wildfire. And, and let me say why real quick, and I'll take a moment. We all know we're going through this pandemic today of COVID. And one of the biggest issues that we're having, and I'm a parent of six kids. Yeah, I know I don't look that old at six kids, but I really do. Um, one of the issues that we're having as parents is going, what are we doing for schools for our kids? Are they going to open up? Is there going to be classroom setting? Is there going to be distance learning? Is there going to be a hybrid? Well, schools are in that same panic as well. They don't know what to do. So a lot of them are relying on the CARES Act that was recently approved to get funding to build distance learning. And we are seeing the numbers soar in just the last five to six weeks of K through 12, higher educations. Um, actually, some, um, I, I will call them um, technical schools that are actually using this as well. So the CAM 520 Pro is a great all around 12X optical, right? 3X optical for the, the, the uh, CAM 540, 12X optical for the CAM 520 Pro, 1080p, we did that intentionally. We wanted to make sure this camera could handle all low light and overexposed settings possible. 82 degree field of view. The other part of it, just like you saw me do with the, the CAM 540, can go almost all the way around. Actually, this one almost does go all the way around. Wow, that's a lot farther than I thought it was. And then also, hang it upside down, go straight down, forward, side to side. So it makes it real simple and easy. All of these can be, be mounted upside down and then you can invert the image through the PTZ app. But once again, 12X optical, yes, it can do 18X digital, but once again, I, I talk optical. 12X optical, 1080p, 82 degree field of view, great for medium and large conference rooms. This also has a smart framing technology. So if you don't want to use a remote control, you don't have to use a remote control. And I think more and more people are, are getting away from the remote controls. Um, Look at this, this camera was over designed. I'm not gonna lie, right? You can actually, it, we say up to 100 camera presets. I think somebody told me we can actually do like 117 for some odd reason. It's ridiculous. Also, RS-232 capabilities, and I apologize, I didn't mention that on the CAM 540 as well. It also has RS-232 capabilities. So you can plug into Crestron, Extron, AMX, any type of third-party control device, and we have the APIs that you can use uh, to tie into it. Also, USB 3.0, but it can downgrade to USB 2.0 if you like. Simple plug and play, once again, full three-year warranty. I can tell you the main reason customers are going with this product today is because they're putting it in large classroom environments. We're seeing a huge uptick in the universities. I, I can't name them here today, but if you message me, I'm happy to talk to you about them. I, the number of universities that have come to us and purchased these, not five, not 10, but 100, 200, 500 at a time has just been insane. We are, are, are doing everything we can to keep up with, with the, um, the request and we're doing a great job of it. So if you need it, we're working to make sure that you have it. I think I saw another question pop up here. Hold on a second. Oh, I got two questions. Uh, do you have a recommended uh, USB 3.1 extender for these? Yes, we do. Please shoot me an email and I will get you out a list. We also have a link on our website and I'll make sure I get that link out to you all uh, or on, um, on this video today so you guys can take a look at it. Um, but yes, we do have USB 3.0 extenders. Remember, both of these can also downgrade to USB 2.0. If you downgrade from 3.0 to 2.0 on the cam, cam 540, which is a 4K camera, it'll go down to 1080p. Uh, other question was, when mounted to ceiling, do you have a mount that can drop it a couple feet from the ceiling while keeping it upside down for a full range of motions? The answer for us is Aver does not. We do not manufacture a wide variety of camera mounts. That's just not you know, in our business. Um, but we do have third-party companies that make a wide variety of different ceiling mounts. The great part about all of our cameras, once again, we don't do anything proprietary. We do everything standards-based. So that is a standards-based camera screw that you see in the bottom of this. So as long as you can screw into that, uh, you are good to go. So we try and make it simple and easy for everybody to use. Is international shipping and warranty available? Yes, it is. Please contact us. We'll put you in contact with the, the correct international team to assist you as well. And yes, warranties are available worldwide. So, okay, going through these now. So uh, next slide to touch on. So we went over the CAM 540. Went over the CAM 520 uh, Pro. Now let's talk about the big brother of the CAM 520 Pro. The CAM 520 Pro Advanced is what we call it. 
So many of you might remember our old CAM 530. Everybody that was looking for a product that could have two outputs, USB and HDMI, love the CAM 530. Well, we said, you know what? Let's keep that going, but let's make it really designed for the integrators. So when we built the CAM 520 Pro Advanced, we said, we're going to do USB 3.0. We're going to do HDMI. Hey, but here's an idea for you. How about we do power over Ethernet? Is that pretty cool or what? Yeah, so on the CAM 520 Pro Advanced, we actually have PoE Plus. So let me start off by saying exact same camera as the CAM 520 Pro, exact same camera as the CAM 520 Pro. Only difference, it has HDMI out and it has power over Ethernet Plus. So this gives you the ability for those, once again, I'm installing this in a ceiling in the back of the room and I can't run power to it hey, I can run PoE Plus to it, right? So I can run power over Ethernet to make it work. It's great for the integrators, great for installation. And I can tell you right now, I have been blown away by the amount of requests for this product. Never in my life did I think my CAM 520 Pro requests would be overshadowed by my CAM 520 Pro Advanced requests. So we are hearing you, we're learning a lot, and don't be surprised that we add PoE to a lot of stuff going in the future, because I think it, it, it's really been shocking to see the requests that have come out for it. But just like the CAM 520 Pro, RS-232 adapters, over 100 different presets, um, API capabilities, all that kind of fun stuff built into it. Biggest thing for people to remember, HDMI out, USB out, POE uh, plus for power. And I, I see we just got a bunch of questions coming in. So let me, whew, okay, let me hit some of these real quick. When downgrading the USB 3.0 to 2.0, you said the CAM 540 drops from 4K to 1080p. Did the CAM 520 drop from 1080p to 720p? No, it still does 720p. Um, you're just gonna lose some of the AI features. And I actually, we have a data sheet on that that I will make sure we post so you can see what's lost in the CAM 520 Pro. So we'll get that set up on, on the link for this as well. Um, another question about a CAM 520 Pro drop to 720p. No, it stays at 1080p. And folks, here's, here's really what happens. USB 3.0 gives you the ability to do a lot of cool things. And, and we started using USB 3.0 with our VB342 Plus because we could run not just the data to it and get the video feed, but we could also run out video feed to the monitor as well. And you're also able to run 4K video on it. You can't really run 4K video over USB 2.0. So the only thing that you really use is that ability to do 4K to 1080p. That's the biggest thing. Um, another question, do you have any boxes to convert HDMI, NDI with PoE or SDI? Yes, if you shoot us over an email, um, we don't have boxes but we have partnerships with companies that do, and we can give you some recommendations on it as well. Our USB 3.0 and HDMI video output simultaneously? Yes, it is. And once again, that was the biggest thing that people wanted our CAM 530 for. The CAM 530, we had a lot of people that wanted to do a Zoom call or a Microsoft Teams call uh, via USB, but then they wanted to run HDMI evil, e either to a local monitor so they can watch it and actually manage the call, or they wanted to run it to a recording device so they could actually sit there and record locally for it as well. Um, bup, 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 bup. Hold on. So any, any other questions about it, feel free to let me know. Um, in the future, does the CAM 520, I already answered that one, sorry. In the future, will you add networking controls with addition of PoE and, on further models? Yes, <laughs> there will be a lot coming out on PoE+. Plus. And, and, it gives us a lot of option, options, folks, right? PoE Plus gives us the ability to do a lot of things that we haven't really been able to do in the past. And it opens up a lot more partnerships as well. So you will be saying things like manageability from the product, right? That's something that's big on, on a lot of these products. How do I manage my cameras? So you'll see a lot more of that. Right now, we're using it for power because we know that was the, the thing that people needed the most. We are going to start adding more feature sets to it as well so people can use it. And, and we'll be announcing those probably in, the, in our early 2021. Highly recommend that uh, anyone that, that gets their hands on one of these cameras when you're going to test it and demo it, go into the GUI. See the level of granularity that you're getting out of the, the network connectivity of these devices. I think you'll be very impressed and happy um, with all the options available to you. 
And I would say this, if you want a demo, typically I tell you guys, hey, I have no problem sending you out a demo. Right now, demos are going to customers. Um, so if you need one, let us know that you have a customer that wants to check it out. Go with your customers, show it at your customer site, test it with them, play with it with them. We'll close the deal and everybody will be happy. But right now, I, I will tell you, we are getting, we're just getting, and once again, Cam 20 Pro Advanced, we're seeing more requests for this than our Cam 20 Pro. And it, it's surprising, it really is. Um, does RJ45 carry the video as well as power to the unit? Wait, I'm gonna let you answer that one. Uh, just to make sure I don't get, I don't yeah, mis, misinterpret this one. Wayne, can I get you to answer that one for me? Uh, does RJ45 carry the video as well as the power? Sorry about that. I was muted. I think I've learned by now, right? <laughs> so um, right now it is purely power um, and, and access to the network interface. Um, more to come over time. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Uh, will the PDF of this presentation be available later? Yes, and actually folks, this presentation is also a flip book that we have for your desk. So if you need this on your desk, shoot me an email, let me know. We will get you out one of our flip books. Uh, we sent them to the Zoom team. We sent them to a lot of channel partners out there. It's a really cool desk flip. I don't have one here because every time I go somewhere, I give mine away. Uh, but it really is a cool flip book that has all this information on it as well. Any plans for NDI? Uh, let me just say more to come on that. Um, I, I will say there's a, there's a lot going on in the background and you're gonna see a lot more coming from Aver in the very near future. So that's kind of our overview about the three products. Now, here's what I wanna mention as well. And I apologize because I start talking and I forget things. Um, two things to mention here. One, Cam 520 Pro, Cam 540. They are both certified on Zoom, certified on Microsoft Teams. They are certified with Ring Central. They work with BlueJeans, okay? So those two products are certified on all those platforms. Cam 520 Pro HD is in the process of being working with Microsoft. It is not certified as of yet, but it does work. It is compatible. It'll work on their networks. We just have not gone through the certification process yet. Uh, Cam 540 is, as I said, also Cam 520 Pro Advanced is certified for Zoom, Ring Central, and, and works with Blue Jeans as well. So just want to make sure you're all aware of that. I, I like to make sure certification I know is tricky for a lot of people. We always want to make sure that, that we're telling you the correct information. So last part that I'm going to touch on right here, which was Jennifer's part, but you know, her network's down today. So um, the questions we always get is why Aver? Why do people want to buy Aver? Why should we talk about Aver? Why should we sell Aver? And, and there's really three big pieces for me. And the first one is our quality of the product and world-class service. I can tell you right now, I am more than comfortable to take in our camera and put it in front of any other camera manufacturer in the marketplace today. And I know we will win head to head. I've been at Aver for four years. And when I first got here, people said, Charlie, you make a great camera. It is just ugly. It is really an ugly camera. I cannot put that in my conference room. We don't hear that anymore today. We hear, wow, you guys are finally making beautiful cameras. Great job. And you know what? The quality has only gotten better. So we know if you take our camera and you put it in front of your customers, they're going to see it, they're going to love it, and they're going to be thankful for the quality that they get out of it. The other part of Aver. And I apologize, folks, working from home, I got somebody doing their yard outside, so you might hear a little bit of mowing in the background. <laughs> oh, I love work from home days. Uh, the other part about why Aver is our warranty. We have a full three-year warranty on all of our products. So with us, like I said earlier, we are an enterprise class solution. We make sure that our products are designed for the enterprise. And that being said, we want to make sure that, these, that people understand these are mission critical products. We know that they can't go down for weeks or months on end, that you can't wait to go out and buy another one. So we make sure that first year, if you have any issues or problem with our camera at all, we send you out an advanced replacement. Second or third year, let us know you shipped it back to us. We'll send you out the replacement unit. We make sure that your customer has a peace of mind knowing that that conference room is not going to be down. We want to do everything to can, we can to make sure that it's up and running. And once again, Unlike a lot of companies, we have a, a tech support team that's available to answer their questions anytime, any day of the week. Finally, why Aver? And I tell people all the time, remember, I have that long title at the end, that, or in the beginning, that, that includes the word sales. And a lot of people don't trust sales, guys. 
So I say, don't trust me. Don't believe me. But try the product. Aver has one of the only true try and buy programs on the marketplace. I don't ask you or your customer for a PO. I don't ask you or your customer for a credit card. I just say, give us the name, shipping address, information on what they need. We will send them out a brand new system. Let them try it for 30 days. At the end of 30 days, they like it, great, they buy it from you. You guys cut us PO, everybody's happy. They don't like the product for any reason, there's a call tag in the box. Slap the call tag on the box, send the product back to us, no questions whatsoever. Today, we're closing these at over a 90% success rate. And the average customer is buying five units. So we know when we get our product out in front of customers, they're gonna buy it. Our quality and our support is too good for them not to. So I really tell you, the successful partners that we have take advantage of this. They really do. And we see hundreds of these on any given month. So please, I don't care if it's one unit your customer wants to buy or a thousand units your customer wants to buy. Take advantage of our try and buy program. You'll get a better understanding of the product. Your customer will get a better understanding of the product. And together, we'll be able to show them exactly what we can do and how we can support them. Um, we got a bunch of success stories here. This will be on the PowerPoint. You guys can look at later on. I know, I know I'm going along. Sorry, wait. <laughs> so, um, no problem. Let me, I just saw a couple more questions pop up real quick. Um, is the CAM 340 Plus going to be MS Team certified? We are discussing that right now. Um, I don't have an answer for you on that today, but we expect to have an answer on that in the next couple of weeks on, on what, our, uh, what our plans are for that. Um, Oh, hey, look, somebody even said, yeah, Cam 540 even won design at Award Red Dot. Yes, thank you. It did. <laughs> We're very proud of that. Does, uh, does this allow full remote support of these cameras through Zoom to viewers on the other end? So, yes, Zoom does support the ability in Zoom rooms. Let me say that. In Zoom rooms, it gives you the ability to actually manage the or um, to control the camera. So they give you foreign control. They can actually zoom in and out of your camera if you like. So that can definitely be done. Another question, uh, what is your email so I can get you a flip book? Uh, my email address is charles, C-H-A-R-L-E-S dot Montoya, M-O-N-T-O-Y-A, at aver.com. And yes, it's spelled, spelled just like Inigo Montoya. And yes, I get it all the time. You killed my father, prepared to die. So, <laughs> um, let me see, what else are the questions? Uh, did this work with Cisco UCC or WebEx, Intel Unite, other camera video chat collaboration, or even direct streaming platforms like YouTube and Facebook? Hey, Vision Control Particles. Great questions there. So does it work on Cisco UCC and WebEx? Yes, it does. It is actually certified, and I apologize. Intel, I am sorry. I am sorry because I, I, don't, I don't mention you enough as I should. Yes, we are actually a partner in Intel Unite. We are certified in Intel Unite. I apologize. I don't break them up as much as I should, so. Bad Charlie. I'll make sure I, I correct that in the, in the very near future. Um, other ca uh, camera video chat collaboration or even direct streaming platforms like YouTube or Facebook. Um, our Cam 520 does have the ability to do direct streaming. Some of our products do have the ability to do direct streaming. Please reach out to us and we'll can, kind of give you more information about it. We, it's a lot more details and a little granular than I think we want to go on just a webinar today. So yes, it does. Reach out to us and we'll go over which ones it does. So. <gasps> My last piece of the puzzle here, our partner portal, coming soon. So look at folks, I've heard you, and I'm listening to you, and we all here at Aver are listening to you. So we are going to launch a partner portal where you will be able to have your username, your password, log in to identify your opportunities, get all the data sheets, all the information, and see the wide variety of different videos that we have. We are planning to launch this, hopefully by August 1st of the time frame right now. As with everything in 2020, it might be delayed, but our goal is August 1st. But it will be coming out. It will be a great area for, you, for any one of our partners. And once again, this is any one of our partners. If you, if you are just looking to sign up as a partner, the first time person learning about Aver, you are more than welcome to sign up. You can go and get all the information that you need. But you can see it will have all the information you need to register a deal, see what opportunities you've registered with us get an understanding of what products we have, even contact support. So we really make it simple and easy for people to use. And with that, I am going to catch my breath. Is there any more questions before I turn it over? One, I, one person sent me their, their email address. We'll get you out some information. Uh, does the Zoom control support carry over to the less robust webinar and meeting pro uh, products as opposed to just the enterprise room license? Um, do me a favor, reach out to me and we can talk more about that just so I can understand exactly what you're looking to accomplish. Um, 
Zoom in their normal form doesn't control cameras, um, at least from, from what I've worked with them on. It's typically the Zoom room applications. What happens is Zoom rooms is smart frame on and cam is controlled manually on Zoom room controls on far end control. Um, you know what, I can get back to you on that one. I, I, I haven't tested that. I know my, my tech support team has, but I will get you an answer and find out for you. So with that, Wayne, I will pass it over to you and take a drink of water. Awesome, thank you, sir. So again, welcome everybody. Real excited to be here. Um, I've, I've it's been an amazing six months coming on board at Aver, and uh, really excited to see some of the uh, some of the work that we've been working on coming out. So um, wanted to take an opportunity today to kind of highlight why partners and why Aver is so focused on working with our partner community, not only with your traditional you know um, UCAS partners, but the other uh, ecosystem and partners that we have out there. So I wanted to take an opportunity to do, this is a soft announcement. So many of you, you're, no one has actually heard about this before, uh, but we will be launching our Aver Collaboration Ecosystem program in the future. Now, why are we formalizing this approach? So um, the ultimate goal behind a program like this is for us to work closely with our partners to achieve the best end user experience possible. That's really where the power of these partnerships come into play. So when we're working with partners like Microsoft, like Zoom, like Intel Unite, like Google, like Ring Central, like you know, the many others that are out there, we wanna make sure that when they plug the camera in and it's connected to their platforms, there is the ultimate experience for ease of use. We want all of their, their APIs to work. We want our APIs to be able to help empower those platforms. We want to make sure the end users have what they need to hit a button, one touch start, meetings going, and they don't have to think about much more from there. The, the systems are going to work seamlessly together. And that's really the strength of the certification programs. You know, I think everybody is, is very familiar with, you know, the certification process. Um, but the depth and the, the granularity that they go into as a part of these certifications, as a part of these partnerships, is very valuable to our joint customers and end users. We really want to make sure that when something's connected, it's working and there's no surprises. Um, you know, we also are seeing the emphasis being put around the reference design approach. Um, you know, we've seen phases in this industry from um, pure ecosystem plays to bundling aspects to now, you know, the predefined kits and ultimately what's now become the reference design in the market. Um, by having these partnerships in place, by, you know, formalizing how we work with the platform partners, alliance partners, and also strategic partners out there, um, that that reference design can be built, certified by all parties involved, be you know put into the market and simplify the supply chain associated with it and get it out there to customers in the, the quickest manner that they need and supporting our our um our partners as well that are reselling these types of uh, solutions to make sure that they have confidence in it they know that it's going to function when they they um, spec it or they recommend it without question or without a uh, large amount of additional work so that's really the the importance of why we're building a program like this uh, Charlie, go to the next slide for me. Perfect. So again, just the, the clarity around the platform, uh, the, the partner type. So in the platform partner, you're really focusing on those UC and video platforms, the, the, uh, the Zooms, Microsofts, Google, Intel Unite, the, the ones that are actually building that, uh, that network and that, that highway essentially for that, the, uh, the video interaction to take place. Um, when we plug our device into each one of those, we want to make sure that we know exactly what's going to happen. They know exactly how it's going to function, and we plan and optimize the best experience for that. With the alliance partners, these partners are going to be our ancillary services, or our ancillary, you know, or supporting um, uh, devices out there that go into these spaces. So, you know, Aver has a wide variety of solutions uh, and cameras and um, you know, numerous other technologies that we work with. There are more than cameras and speakerphones essentially in a uh, in, in flat screens in a room. Um, so as you start to see more individuals becoming familiar with um, spaces and the technology that goes into these spaces, we want to make sure that we're working closely with those partners as well, and we can optimize how our de devices work together inside of that space. With the strategic partner side, there are numerous other players in the space that may not necessarily provide a device that goes into the room or not, may not provide the platform that the video is running over. 
um, we want to make sure that we have close relationships with those individuals as well. Now, I'm giving a high-level overview today. Again, we have we are in the process of getting this launched, so there will be names and and actual partners associated with these partner types as we get closer to launch. But I at least wanted to explain um, to everyone on the call today that there's going to be uh, many more resources and a lot better documentation around how we're working with these partner types coming in the future so that when you're speaking to your customers, you'll be able to clearly define and clearly explain how we work inside of a uh, multi-manufacturer room, if you will. Um, and click the next slide for me. You know, we've talked about it, but I just put it on the slide as well, some of the, the partner types that we work with. But uh, I just want to provide an update today, let you know what we're working on from the partner side. And uh, really excited to be here, as I mentioned. And I appreciate the time. Charlie, I hand it back to you. Thank you, Wayne. I, I appreciate it. And you know what? I want to touch on something. You know, let me stop, stop the slides here because this is our last slide. If anybody wants to look us up, take a look at our Twitter, our YouTube, our, our LinkedIn, please feel free. Love to add more people to that. You can always take a look at it. And I, I apologize, folks. Once again, eight weeks in quarantine. Man, my hair is a mess. Um, but in saying that, one thing I want to make sure about, because this is really a channel-focused call, right? We wanted to make sure that if this was basically for our channel partners. And if there's end users on here, that's completely fine with that. I have no problem with that at all. But one thing that I do want to make sure our channel partners are aware of, when you register an opportunity with us, you don't have to worry about Aver going and reaching out to your customer or trying to sell to your customer direct. Aver is a channel only manufacturer. We do not sell anything direct, no matter how big or how small. Our whole focus is channel driven opportunities. All of the leads we get, we push to the channel. All the oppor opportunities our channels bring to us, we work directly with those channel partners on, whether it's the resellers or the distributors that are coming, coming to us. Even when, when our, our cloud service providers reach us out for opportunities, we make sure that we're working with their channel partners in those deals to close the opportunity. I say that to you because I want to make sure that you guys feel confident. When you come to us with an opportunity, we are going to work with you 100%. If that deal happens to be registered to somebody else or somebody else brought us into it, we're going to let you know. We are very transparent in what we do. I, I, I've been doing channel now for over 17 years. And, and my whole thing with channel is I don't want conflict. I got too many gray hairs already. I don't need any more. So we will be open, honest, and upfront with you from the get-go. And we are going to do everything we can to help make sure that you win that opportunity. So please feel, feel free to reach out to us. I think I've answered most or all the questions that you guys have reached out to us today. Whatever I haven't answered, please feel free to email me. Charles.Montoya at Aver.com. Happy to answer any questions. Uh, we'll also be, once again, doing this on a regular monthly basis. So please check your emails early next week. We will be announcing the time and date and the subject for what we will be talking about on our next channel webinar. So thank you for all your help. Thank you for joining today. We really appreciate your time and effort. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you all soon. Thank you.